just in time for another game. Alright, uh, we would like Monster Seeking Monsters. And you're a sub. Do command code. Oh yeah, I said monster seeking monsters. It's TMP2. Sorry guys. <laughs> it is TMP2. <laughs> Uh, that game is just ingrained in my head. Alright, Monster Seeking Monsters, do command code. <laughs> Anyone else? If not, I'm gonna open it up. Yeah, let me just get this sorted out, yeah? This is a little bit more important. Excuse me. All right, first come, first serve. I'm in. Hey, Lord, welcome in. And Josephine, welcome. He. <laughs> Make a space in this box to hide yourself. Some spots are better than others, but don't overthink it. Of course, this magic trick does need some volunteers. I'm giving you a very sharp sword. On your device, choose a rope or a bow to run your sword. One of these gonna die. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs>
Oh, I think I misclicked something. <laughs> Animated stick figure, welcome in and thank you so much for the follow. What? The rest of you, it's time. <gasps> Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's like blackjack, both dice and skulls. Look, it, it made sense when I first put it together, okay? I'm just gonna stop right there. Hang on. I guess I'll have to punish everyone else instead. What? Let's see if the safe players are good at forgery. Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Let the drawing begin. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. It's khaki. <laughs> I don't think that's how you spell khaki. That 
That's funny, Abby. Please stand up. Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, yeah, he did it for the meme. There's no way. <laughs> I appreciate the comedy, Lord. That was great. <laughs> That's awesome. Respect. <laughs> Cocky Kalala. Oh, that's easy. All right, let's see. I remember that. Yes. How did I get that wrong? Damn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can scratch seven. Mustering went insane. It's like a fish eating a wig. <laughs> I'll put a 
crush everyone else instead. Heads! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make... Uh, did anyone click five or four? I'm going five. No one actually went four. Wild. We are supposed to always cover five and four. Poppy Shampoo, welcome in. How are you doing? I have a devastating shellfish allergy. Which of these foods will not kill me? I'm doing pretty good, uh, Poppy, thanks. <laughs> this is taking forever, and I still need to host the place down before my next guests arrive. Let's speed this up. Oh, no. You've been very resilient, but only one of you can survive this game. I hope you can hold your breath. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. Oof, not off to a great start. Choose another key. them all both drown. That's funny. I feel like the fish always dies in that one. I don't know. 
I don't know any chickenology. Oof. I think that's it. <laughs> Duck. Goose. What? Yeah. GG everyone. Hey old Trace, how are you doing today? Welcome in. <laughs> Bad. Sorry. Hey, Red, how are you doing? Um, what do you guys feel like playing? Crap. Hey, welcome, Josephine. Yeah, welcome. I was waiting for at least one more person because we had to have three to play this. And now we have three. Play? But I'm going to give people about 20 more seconds. If they're in here and want to join. Thank you for joining. Appreciate that.
Alrighty. They go. <laughs> I want you to look at your device now and tap to select a few words as your favorite. Select up to seven words. The rest, <laughs> left in your heart. Oh, I got my wallet out of here. So you 
you can move your cursor mid type. What? Congratulations, your phone now qualifies for an upgrade. Are you interested? Ooh, maybe. What are my upgrade options? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Daddy and such my yes I will be Utah slave and a pay for a new galaxy note options. Up keep my wife's spread out toy a fucking mouth. You stinky. Never gonna give her you up, never gonna let you down. Baby Shah's great me and most crazy you are insane. You know what's up. Time to pick those good slash bad words. Oh, I love it. Risque word in some sort of a sentence. Doesn't have to make sense. I just type random fucking words. Look at me down the way down there. No, it's I went fucking hard. Oh, harder daddy never lived me inside my vagina. He was a piece of shit now bearing me in my food. I'm hungry, you really rode. Where will I need my pussy milk? He's filled with your gold fingers neck to give me orange juice inside my ding a lowing a fart glug glug 3000 like I have need had so be your BB. <laughs> what a response. Yeah, they're running. They're calling the cops. 
I know, shut up. Okay, let's do another one. Baja Blast! My son, Brian, died in a drunk driving accident. I put out a video about it to try to stop young people from drinking it. Sleep. But <laughs> player two, you really dropped the ball. Dissatisfaction has been noted. Sounds like it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw makes it harder for your opponent to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus if they answer incorrectly. What would we do without you? At Binge Pipe, we just want you to be reasonably happy. Coming up next, the Eagles are all getting bald. Which band would only be able to see its namesake during a North American tour? Gorillas, the Mountain Goats, Wolf Parade, or Andrew Bird? feces at your controller. Ew. Mountain goats, sometimes called Rocky Mountain goats, can only be found in North America. Yes, the mountain goats. Look, a North American bar mitzvah slash wedding tour is still a North American tour, okay? And how'd the audience fare? Wow, you think a group of people who've chosen to spend their time watching other people play a video game would be smarter. That means that right answer is worth even more. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, Fusion. Take a good look at nine things I hate about you. 2009 was a great year for the number nine. Put these 2009 9 movies in alphabetical order. District 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, District 9, District 9, 9, 9, <laughs> or 9, District 9, 9. So who got it? Alphabetical order starts with... Numbers first, then letters. So the number nine, district nine, and finally nine spelled out would be the proper alphabetical order. Whoa. I can't wait for their sequels. Nine, two, district ten, and nines. 
Say goodbye to round one. Remember, these numbers also serve as your personality rankings. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, you're negatively affecting our averages. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cat. My name's Cody Archie. And I'm Erica. And we're first generation ranchers from Central Texas. We use TikTok. Parliament Funkadelic, and if you... be a funkadelic murder of crows. Oh, look at this. A group of owls is known as a parliament. Another group that should try this owl thing would be the who. Who? <laughs> Let's try. Nice sermon this morning, Mr. Manson. What do Marilyn Manson and the Notre Dame Cathedral have in common? Both have hunchbacks, both call Paris their hometown, they are both gothic, or both are known for the dope show. <laughs> Who picked what? As the Parisians say, nope. Marilyn Manson performs gothic-inspired music, and the Notre Dame Cathedral is an example of gothic architecture. <laughs> they also both make you contemplate the existence of God. Uh. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. There is no hiding from hide and geek. Where isn't Waldo? California, Alaska, Alabama, or Florida? I'm not getting screwed this time, Becca. Hope you like what you picked. Apparently, there are towns called Waldo in a bunch of U.S. states, but Alaska isn't one of them. I thought I spotted his red and white striped shirt there once, but it turned out it was just a baby harp seal that had been mauled by a polar bear. How about this one? Me talk so good. So, if there's one favorite time of the year for me, it's fall, because of all the beautiful fall foliage and the... That, that foliage cookie? What, Bob? I'm saying the word is foliage. A lot, a lot of people, people say foliage, foliage but that's wrong. wrong. It's supposed to be foliage. Oh, well, excuse me for talking like a human being. In order to help me not offend the sensibilities of Bob, which expression am I using correctly? Get down to brass tacks, your majesty. For all intents and purposes, Mr. President, don't take it for granted, my lord. It's of the utmost importance, your highness. You knew that screw was coming, player one. Time to find out what you signed up for. So, what'd you pick? This expression is often misused as brass tax, T A X. But for one, one he was actually correct when he said tax, T A C K S. Hmm, thanks, Bob. No problem, Cookie. So, irregardless of that, uh, regardless, Bob, shut up. 
expert screwing player, too. Here's that cash. I call this one Ocean's Zero. Which of these movies has the greatest difference between its title and the number of Oscars it was nominated for? Seven, eight and a half, nine, or ten? I don't know. I've never watched Oceans. What'd you guys pick? A pessimist might say you're half wrong, an optimist that you're half right. Personally, I'd say you're full of... Nine, the musical from 2009, based on the movie Eight and a Half, was nominated for four Oscars for a difference of five. Carry the one, divide by infinity, and add pi. Mmm, pi. <laughs> oh, what might have been. Ten, the classic Bo Derek running on the beach in a bikini movie was nominated for two Oscars. That's a difference of eight, the largest difference here. What? And if I were in charge of the Oscars, I know exactly which two things in that movie I'd give those Oscars to. Wow. Ow. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Dot your eyes and cross your eyes. Keep your eye on the eyes. Good luck. Congratulations, player one. Sometimes you win big, and sometimes you're everybody else in this game. You don't know, Jack! Dad? It's Scraps. He's not moving. I'm sorry, Patrick. We have to remember. Scraps had a long, happy life. Oh, 
Well, sensor bot Sorry. fired again. Bad I guess it's time for you don't know Jack. Let me see what this... deposit is non-refundable. To get started, the upper crust of memes. Ah! Ah! Stop! I could drop my fruit with fruit, my creme brulee, my macaron, or my vineyard. Something stinks. I think your food is smelling a bit off. Uh. Croissants, like the one almost dropped in the popular vine, are part of a group of sweetened pastries called Viennogeri. <laughs> Other kinds of bread in that group are brioche, cuquettes, zixuko, and all the French made me bomb my tongue. God damn it. Here's a good one. D.W. was kind of a brat. Sometimes, life gets you down so bad that you just want to go ape shit. Suppose Arthur stopped being nice. He decides to train his clench fist to shut the world up as quickly as possible. How fast would his punch have to go for a Guinness World Record? 15 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour, 32 miles per hour, or 45 miles per hour? the average speed of a boxer's punch. Buster might be lucky to enough escape your vengeance. Wrong. In 2012, Keith Little used his boxing training and mathematical knowledge to deliver a punch that registered at 45 miles per hour. You can suck it. I know one puncher Vork doesn't have quite the name to it, but an anime fight between Arthur and Buster would be the stuff of legends. Break my plane now, you cuck. <laughs> Try this on for size. The only two men I need are Ben and Jerry. And you better get your two brain cells ready. Cause it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read a 
off seven delicious sounding ice cream flavors, and I'm going to need you to tell me whether it's an official flavor of Ben and Jerry's or a flavor that I just made up on the spot. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Ben and Jerry's or not Ben and Jerry's. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. Crunchy Auto cookie bites. Now accepting redeems for our next game. What? Peanut butter world. Major Wonderland. Chocolate paradise. Brownie batter. You can suck it. Milk and cookies. Loco Loco. You can't spell disastrous without us, but you all. Uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. We're gonna dumb it down for you, morons. Sounds Ooh. like it's screw time. Whatever you say, cooking man. Use the screw to make someone who is already gonna get the question wrong. Get the question wrong. <laughs> Fine, we'll skip it. <laughs> um, you're welcome. I don't need you anymore. Here's what I like to call losing more than just my marbles. So I took my Tinder date Jenny out last night and totally r Whoa there, buddy. I just detected a question with a banned word or phrase. These games still need to comply with censorship guidelines. I mean, geez. You know what? I'm going to replace this question with one that is approved for all audiences. Please stop crying about it. Speaking of marbles, Jenny has 35 marbles. Jenny splits them up into five groups. How many marbles does Jenny have now? None, five, seven, or 35. So watch out. <laughs> Player 4 just screwed the room. <laughs> this one goes out to my grandma. Love you, Grams. Okay, what'd you pick? Yes, there are five groups of marbles, but it's not what I'm looking for. You stupid. Great job. She would still have 35 marbles since all she did was split them up. Nice. I hope you didn't lose your marbles on this question. Anyway, let's move on before Cookie gets too out of hand. That screw is a good move, player four. Here's that cash. Thank you. <coughs> and now, drinking disorder. I love to drink from time to time. Speaking of which, I'm feeling a little bit thirsty. Which of these four alcoholic beverages do not exist? Is it shitty quickie, royal fuck, arrogant bastard, or buttery nipple? you know it the shot you made was a miss i bet you wish this one was real don't you well someone should get to work on it immediately because it does sound hilarious i do wonder how people come up with these weird <coughs> names for drinks i thought spotted dick was already weird enough in terms of foodstuffs that's it for round one a voice show me the data will you Right now, player two is the fucking trivia master. Oh, you stink! Not nah, okay, but look at player three, OMG. Phew. Your mother had a hard time picking between you or the afterbirth. I will help you, but only because you look so desperate right now. Round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't forget to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? Oh, so that's what fun means? Six trombones is not a parade. How about this one? A lingering sentiment. 
And oh shit, that means an adult wants to share a meme with you. How do you do, fellow kids? I like memes just like you. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. I want to make a witty comment on someone's post, but I want to reply with a meme I can't seem to find anymore. Help me out, would ya? The name was close to... Uncivilized Starfish. It wasn't exactly that, but that's what I remember, okay? Oh. My name's Cody Archie. And I'm Erica. Savage Patrick? Yo, what up? Binge Pipe isn't the only artificial intelligence taking over your soul, you know. Would you like a question asked by Siri? Or a question asked by Google Assistant? Hurry up and pick something. Time for the auto host gods to pick something for us. <laughs> Coming up next, a question asked by Google Assistant. Special guest! Hey there, I'm your Google Assistant, ready for a question or maybe give out some more personal data. I can do all those things and more, except. Which of these things can your Google Assistant not do? Rap for you, sing you a lullaby, and up all Google Pixel, or tell you a joke. <laughs> we all answered before three. Screws us. Okay, who chose what? Here's a good joke for you. Your love life. What? Google Pixel is a phone, and I can't enable a phone, dumbass. See you next time you forget how to spell the word, definitely. It's not defiantly, by the way. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Take a good look at There is no Mega Mind sequel. If what Hal from Mega Mind says is true, then which of these are actually real? The Easter Bunny, the Queen of England, Santa Claus, or the Tooth Fairy? What'd you pick? Knockout and down you go. You stupid. Off with your score's head. <laughs> In a pivotal scene, Hal says there is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. But he sure never mentioned Ola Saint Nick. <laughs> this is the real world, and I need to wake up. I don't want to have another binge pipe nightmare. <laughs> one for you. You get what I'm saying. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I heard you won't be to ask these monkeys a trivia question. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'll give them a question. Which of these fictional characters have not been photoshopped into defeating that simian Saiyan known to you as Goku? Bless Joe Wallace, Shaggy or SpongeBob Squarepants. No, Shaggy is a Let's see how that shook out. Nope. Take a look at your squad, sucker! Wrong. Yes, why those others have been photoshopped in a way that makes Goku look as weak as shit. Blast, you has not been shown to defeat him. At least not yet. <laughs> it's always a pleasure knowing Goku gets his ass handed to him by a sentient sponge. Anywho, I'll be on my way finding the Dragon Balls. It should be too hard if Goku is this pathetic. But I'll be damned if that foolish prince is with him too. <laughs> I call this one more than just for lettuce. Special guest! Ah! A 
as you may or may not know, Burger King Foot Lettuce was number 15 on the top 50 mysteries solved by 4chan that I narrated. But something you may not know is... What came after Burger King Foot Lettuce? Urodes, Kofefe, Jeff the Killer, or Secret Live Stream? <laughs> nine. That's German for no. You know what else was nine? This one. This was the number five mystery. So you are wrong. That came after at number 14. If you still care to watch beyond that point. The number of mysteries solved on 4chan may have gone up since this meme took off, but I possess a mystery never to be solved by anyone, not even 4chan. The mystery of my missing self-respect. <laughs> you made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Holy Mr. Beast, I'm starting a massive giveaway where everything is free and gives you points. Enjoy and subscribe to Mr. Beast.
I'm a starfish. If you guys want to play, there's a code. Oh, and spring forward is tomorrow, so before you go to bed, guys, set your clocks we'll ahead. Here soon, Josephine. Yeah. Here we go.
European country? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Dad, you slow poke. To me, can you even think of a European country? <laughs> now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. I love you, Timmy. <laughs> pick the answer that you go, uh, no, sir. No. I will have none of that. The votes are in. If I hosted that thing, I would just definitely pause and have you guys Google it for the right answer. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> How about this? The Spirit of St. Louis was the name of which aviator's play? You're going to join the audience. gonna join in the audience there's this code have me die in the game.
Oh no! Should I take? be up in 15 minutes, so, so I'll end the stream after this game. Wickedy Smoothie, coming for the booty. Wickedy Smoothie, coming for the booty. <laughs> I've seen some clips. for the beauty. Oh, 
don't remember these board games. I was a kid, I think. Looks like I'll end the stream right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to set your clocks an hour ahead before you go to bed. Good night.